All right, an update on my garden and yard. Raspberry plants are coming on really strong. Loaded with raspberries, they're not ripe yet, but just absolutely loaded this year. My little Red Ranger chickens that are gonna be butchered come fall. I got, uh, what do I got, 20, 27 of them I think left. Had 30, lost two. Or 28 then I guess. <clears throat> they're hungry, they haven't been fed today. They're following me around. Let me throw them some feed. This is my chicken house. There you go, chicken. Get them out of my way for a little while when I make this video here. Okay. So, update on just everything going around here. Got a new rabbit cage. And a new doe. They're pregnant. They're actually due this Sunday. There's another doe. My black doe. And this is my last three litters. I know it's dark in here. Let me flip on the light. It might help. My three litters here. They'll be ready for butcher in about mm, probably two and a half to three weeks. Yeah, I know. People think I'm mean. I don't care. They eat real well. And my third and final doe. All three of my does are bred due to give birth on the same day. I like to keep it simple. And my buck. Right here is my buck. Okay, a greenhouse. Coming along real nice. Got tomato plants going. Kale, mustards, peppers, Swiss chard, some herbs that my wife put in there. Some more peppers over there. Lots of tomato plants. My kids are already munching on lettuce. So we got two different kinds of lettuces. More kale, more mustards, garlic. Apple trees are doing good. I just planted those last year. And I got oh seven or eight apples on that tree, a few on that one over there. We planted raspberries. These the ones down in down there were red thornless. These ones here are yellow thornless that my wife's parents graciously graciously gave us. They sent us a whole bunch of starts. And they worked out really well. The garden, it's done. So what I ended up doing is putting, buried in uh, about six inch lodgepole posts that are about 12 foot tall. Well, no, they're not that tall, 10 foot tall. And then I got this two inch by four inch by six foot high galvanized welded wire. Then drove T posts in in between, 10 foot T posts. And then ran a bob wire around the top to keep the deer out. And I've already seen a little buck the other morning trying to get in. And he couldn't figure it out, so the fence is working. Um, as far as what I got in the garden right now, on that end there, those are pickling cucumbers. Um, and then across these three on this end here, I got apple cucumbers and lemon cucumbers. Now the apple we haven't done before, the lemon we did last year and they're, I have to say, are my favorite cucumber. They're, you just reach out and pick them off the plant and eat them, they're awesome. Got a little tomato plant in there, got some bush beans, um, some uh, peas, some bush peas, and lots of gar or broccoli. And then my son planted a little uh, cantaloupe, which isn't doing real well. Then. Uh, Got the compost pile. These here are thornless blackberries. I got five of these planted along here. That there again, my mother and father-in-law graciously sent us. And they're already blooming. And it looks like we're gonna have a few little blackberries this year. I built this really cool little birdhouse to fit up there. And the birds have already moved in sticks and everything into it. I put two there on that side, one on that side, and one on the opposite side. Kind of cute. I got a big gate here given to me. It's an eight foot gate, eight by eight squares is what it is. 
So I put that up and back still back a truck in. And then across the front where the roadside, my wife dressed it up. She put in half wine barrels, filled them full of potted plants. And then we built a uh, nookshook, just kind of a cool little guy that the Canadian Eskimos build. My wife planted some creeping vine of some sort there, and then another half wine barrel. She kind of dresses up the front. <clears throat> so that's an update on the garden, rabbits, blurry bushes, and all that. That's all I can think of to show you. So thanks for watching. Okay, I thought I'd add the coolest part to living up here where I live. Right behind my house. In fact, my house, you can see it through the trees there. That's my house. So I'm about 75 yards from this little lake one time this was in the water supply for the town that I live in and algae started growing in it so they didn't use it anymore for water so then a fish hatchery took it over and started using it for raising different types of fish well then they abandoned it for that Here's the levee. That's the method of raising the water or lowering the water level. So now it's a private owned pond or small lake, whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's full of trout, crappie, or bluegill, perch. Lots of perch. My son says he fishes up here quite a bit. Um, you need to have a little float plane to fly off of it. If you fly in circles, it's a pretty tight little area. But uh, I had to add this to my things around the house or garden update just because this is a really pretty little area that's one of my favorite places to come of an evening or early morning, do some fishing. Really pretty up here. There's some mountains in the background right behind my house here. Top of that mountain is 5,700 feet, I believe. We hiked up there a couple weekends ago at the top, just for fun. We get moose in these ponds on a regular basis. Um, even seen wolf tracks along in here, on the levee of the pond. And uh, it's just a really pretty little place to come. There it is.